Hey everybody, it's Rob from Fandroid.com. A couple things. When you first get your HTC Hero, um, there's a couple things I, I suggest you do. You don't have to do, just my own personal opinion. The first would be, this is a nice subtle little unlocking feature on the Hero, but I feel personally like if I keep locking it like that and putting it in my pocket, sooner or later, um, at some point, my, I'm going to press this button and that doesn't look too hard to do. I like to change that is the first thing. So go ahead and press menu, get to your settings. And this is the first of a couple a couple pretty easy things to, um, to get you going right off the bat. Um, go to security. And then you've got uh, set unlock pattern. Just set a little unlocking pattern. And then continue, and then you draw it again, and confirm it, and um, there you should go. And it says require pattern. Now we have that um, selected. This lighting is not very good. It looks like that's not green, but it is green. Um, use visible pattern selected. Use tactile feedback. Just makes it feel bumpy or whatever when you're um, selecting them. Uh, and then so there you go so once you do that now we can go back to the home screen oops I just pressed search and we can lock it and you can see that now when we go to unlock we're going to have to unlock it again using this which is an extra step I wish they just had the regular uh, Android default locking system or had the ability to choose only that one but they don't so what can you do the other thing is go to menu settings and change well, let's see locale and text um, first thing you're going to want to select your location um, you select the English United States or, or United Kingdom which is the only place it's available right now touch input keyboard types so when you're typing you can choose what type of keyboard you want to use um, you can use the QWERTY you can use the phone keypad which is like T9 or compact QWERTY which I actually haven't tried yet but you want to make sure it's on QWERTY and that's the one you probably want to use maybe not but that's why it's there so before you go you know hating the keyboard go test out the different ones and see which one you like the most um, and then there is text input and there's a bunch of things and these are for each of the different keyboard types so for the QWERTY for the phone keypad and compact QWERTY um, you can select these you can either have prediction enabled where it gives you suggestions for things you type or, and there's spell correction also um, I may end up taking both of these off because uh, sometimes it can be irritating um, but you're going to make a lot less mistakes if you go to the bottom and use this calibration tool. And it will ask you to type the quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. So you can go ahead and just do the... And even if you don't press exactly on the letter, it's going to assume you press the letter. And that's the whole point of calibrating it, is to seeing how your strokes are on the keyboard. So the quick and whatever you could do that and then it basically from then on will use the way that you type and where exactly you press the buttons as a guide to be more accurate and to prevent typos in the future um, and let's see if it will rotate and let me type this way if I choose it doesn't look like it does and that's an option you need to set too by the way um, up here well, let's go back again to oh and by the way there's another thing touch to touch input so you may want to do the uh, play the tutorial and it helps you choose how to how to use the keyboard which is really good if you've never used um, actually it's good for anybody because uh, this is a brand new interface so um, definitely recommend taking that tutorial to switch the display of the screen to auto rotate you need to go to sound and display and then you're going to go all the way down to orientation and animation and I have both of those checked you can't see it because of the angle which is really starting to 
I'm gonna hold back my bad language right now. Uh, and you got orientation animation, both selected, and then you can disable auto backlight. But that's an annoying thing about this. Um, when you're in these settings here, you can't use auto rotate. So, for example, when you're doing your, um, when you're entering, say, your Wi-Fi, and you're uh, you're typing your password in, you can't auto rotate the screen here. And, ha and and type if it's easier to type for you that way you've got to do it this way vertically um, and I'm not sure if that's because Google doesn't allow you to customize the backend settings because they need to be consistent with the rules and regulations of the open source I, I really don't know but that I found uh, pretty irritating when typing things like passwords in um, and stuff like that I mean a little thing but nonetheless okay so you saw that you could use a tutorial for typing um, the other thing that's really cool that I think everyone should do and you might not see it at first but I would recommend doing this first is open up this panel and there's a learn more button and this is actually um, I think a yeah it, it's a it's the HTC Hero website the mobile version of it um, and it's so you're you're on the web now but there's all these how to's and guides so if you click how to it will open up a list of information for uh, for the things you want to do personalizing your home screen connecting to the internet setting up Wi-Fi using the people widget using browser twittering updating your Facebook status viewing Facebook and Flickr updates using the on-screen keyboard, uh, setting up your email, connecting a stereo Bluetooth headset, turning the power on and off. So, um, I guess that to use the internet and turn the power on and off, you actually uh, you needed to know that in order to get to that point. But then there's two guides. There's actually the, the quick start guide for the HTC Hero and the user manual. And they're PDF form and you could download them right here. It's really actually nice how uh, how they view the, the PDFs, and there is a PDF viewer, Excel viewer, uh, Microsoft Word, and and the standard Office format. And you can see I've downloaded it already. Um, so let's just go to one that has the download complete, and go ahead and open that up. Unable to open this file. Interesting. Uh, I guess because it's downloading over top of it. Let's see, probably because maybe I renamed it HTC Hero. There we go. That's because I renamed it so it had a new name at that point as opposed to what I downloaded it as. So here we are. It's the Welcome, gu Welcome to HTC Quick Start Guide. And um, it's really nice. You can see it's 32 pages and it just gives us an overview of of the phone what's inside the box uh, get started get on the internet and all that stuff so a really good resource now that's on my phone now so I could connect my computer to my my phone to my computer and just download that online although I'm sure it's at the HTC website you can see the zooming features so um, it looks like the zoom isn't only in in the browser but it's also in documents uh, but and Google Maps but that's most of the extent of it someone had asked where else you have the pinch and zoom um, besides the browser but it is the browser and it is documents like PDFs um, Excel documents Word documents stuff like that so make sure you check out th these tutorials uh, and I think that's about it. I've been using this phone for quite a while now, so it's finally dying. Um, downloads. I'm not sure what. Oh, this is the HTC Sync. So um, that came out July 8th, so it might be an updated version of it that you want to download. Um, that's it for getting started, guys. I just want to make sure. Um, oh, there's one other thing. You might want to calibrate your G sensor. So. Uh, Let's see where I forget exactly where that's going to be. Hmm. 
SD card. I don't think that's where it is. No. Application security. You want to enable GPS satellites too. That was selected by. It was not selected by default for me when I turned the phone on for the first time. Um, somewhere on here, there is. Uh, there it is G sensor calibration so you can select that rest this flat and press calibrate and that will uh, that will help for when you're when you're using the G sensor and the auto rotate type stuff so there you go ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the quick start little guide that I provided. Um, make sure you do that all stuff when, at the very beginning because stuff was going to irritate you if you don't do it. Um, HTC Hero, fansroid.com. More reviews and videos to come. Thanks, guys.